As with anything in life, we need a solid foundation in order to remain stable. If you're a Christian, Christ is obviously your foundation. In order to navigate through and understand the corruption of our modern age, we need to know where we've been and what's the root cause of where we're going. And if you're a Christian, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 tells us that our battle is not physical, but spiritual. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In other words, demonic entities act as parasites feasting on sinful human hosts who then carry out Satan's plan in physical form. As the story of Genesis goes, Satan embodied himself within the serpent, and the deception of the serpent is apotheosis, or in effect, the lie that man will become God. We can follow the trail of the serpent by understanding this basic concept, for the serpent always leaves a stench, it leaves the trail of self-worship. In antiquity, Babylon symbolized man's foolish attempt to ascend past God. The concept of Babylon never died. And we see this ancient deception embodied in institutes such as the United Nations and the European Union. We see this ancient deception embodied within occult secret societies like Freemasonry. And we see this ancient deception embodied within our modern leaders and politicians. Self-worship is the lie of the serpent and is the root cause of our modern situation. So why bother? Why even bother studying our modern situation and uncovering the trail of the serpent? Why? Because Jesus Christ himself stated to be as wise as serpents, harmless as doves. He didn't say to seek ignorance. He didn't say to bury your head in the sand and shy away from controversial issues. He did not say that ignorance is bliss. He stated to seek wisdom. And how do we seek wisdom? We seek wisdom by writing our falsehoods. By looking in the mirror honestly and honestly correcting our mistakes. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 states to take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness, but to instead expose them. And that's what we'll do. This will be a video series on the trail of the serpent. We will be looking at many rare and controversial books throughout this series to get a better understanding of our modern situation.